Let's make a tropical fishing game. For this activity, we are gonna be needing our fish printout, some of our paint, a glue stick, our dowel, some coloring supplies. You can use crayons, markers. I'm using some gel pens and some colored pencils, but really you can use anything, anything to color your fish. And then this tiny little thing that we have is this is called a washer, and then we have a tiny little magnet. We are gonna make one of our fish secretly magnet so that you can go fishing for it. I'm gonna show you how. So make sure you have all these things. Put your magnet and washer in a safe space uh, so you don't lose it, because look how tiny it is. All right, go ahead, get all your stuff, press pause, and press play again when you are ready. Okay, the first step is very simple. We are gonna use whatever coloring tools we have to color our fish. Color them any color you like, make sure they're nice and bright, and I will show you the next step. Go ahead. Okay, all of my fish are colored. They're looking nice and bright. I'm gonna use a colored pencil just to add an eyeball on the side. Because fish usually, there's an eye on each side. Every fish is different, right? But sharks, fish, usually there's one eyeball on each side. So I'm just gonna add that in. I think I need a darker marker maybe. There we go. All right, so if your fish are all colored and looking great and tropical and fun, we are gonna add a little bit of texture to our fish. All right, so grab your paint that you had from your other painting and carefully open up all the lids. Like I said before, this can be challenging, so ask an adult if you need help. And go ahead and press play when you're ready. Go ahead and open your paints. Okay, all of my paints are now open and we're gonna add a little bit of dots using our dowel to our fish to add some texture. So when we're adding texture to art, it makes it more interesting to look at and even more interesting to feel. So how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take one end, I'm gonna dip it in a color of my paint, just a little bit, just a tiny bit like that at the tip. And then I'm gonna do a few polka dots on my fish so I can make some textured polka dot fish. Which fish do you think this one is? That's right, it's a shark. I'm adding a bit of blue because you know how there's blue sharks and white sharks. Even though they don't necessarily have polka dots, I'm just adding them to make them look more fun. So the reason you don't wanna paint it on with a brush is because your paper might curl up from the wetness of the paint. So we're just gonna do a couple nice dots. Once you want to switch colors, you need to wipe off this color. So I'm gonna go, go grab a paper towel and you can start doing the dots on your fish. Remember just to dip in a little bit and press down to do your dots. Press play again when you're ready. Wow, look at that texture on my fish. They are looking so cool and bright. I'm really excited about them. And you know what else I realized? You know how I said that my pencil wasn't dark enough? I'm gonna use the black to do my eyeballs. Give one little dot. It takes a steady hand to be able to do this actually. There you go. Now I have all these great colorful tropical fish. Make sure your fish are all dotted and finished with just enough paint 
And then when you're done, we are gonna wait for it to dry before the next step. While we wait for our fish to dry, we can use our markers, we can use our paints, and we can paint our fishing rod. This is gonna be a, our fishing rod after, so use your markers or your paint. I'm gonna use paints to make sure it's extra bright, but then I'm just gonna have to wait until we're done, and then we will be able to start. Go ahead, paint or draw on your fishing rod and press play when you're ready for the next step. Now get your favorite pair of scissors and let's cut these out. Take your time. You don't have to cut it exactly on the line. Leave a little bit of space while you cut them out and press play again when you're ready. I am all done cutting out my fish. They look very awesome, tropical, bright and colorful. How are yours? All right, let's do our next step. Let's lay them all out in front of us and we are gonna add our magnet. Now, what you have to do is pick whatever fish you like. I'm gonna pick this one. I like all my fish, but I'm gonna pick this one. You just flip it over, get the glue that was included in your box and do a tiny little dot of glue just like this and now you're gonna find that tiny magnet and you're gonna plop that down right into the glue and wait for it to dry time to press pause and add your magnet when making your fishing rod you want to take one end of your dowel and your elastic and you just want to wrap it around a few times like this. Perfect. And then you're going to attach one end of your string underneath the elastic. Try to get it under a few so it doesn't come out. And there you go. It should be attached just like this. And then on this end, you are going to want to add your washer. loop it through like this and then tie it in a knot. Let's go and ask a big kid or an adult for help with this part. It is too hard. So you have your elastic on one end and then this on the other end. And there's your fishing rod. Go ahead and put your fishing rod together. Let's see if I can find the mystery magnet fish see oh my goodness I caught it I caught the fish awesome I found the mystery fish here it is now you can go and test this on one of your family members or your siblings see if they can find the mystery fish you can even tell them you have to guess which one it is and then after they guess they can lower the lure onto it lift it up and see if it works Oh, there we go. That is awesome. You can even twist your fishing rod to lure in your fish. Very awesome. I love this. Good job, everybody. That is a wrap on our fishing game. I hope you keep playing this. You can even add more magnets to your other fish if you like, if you can find any. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me. Good job, everyone. Until next time, bye. <laughs> Thank you.